Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keenan and I am here today with Leah Dean from Bermuda. Hi Leah. Hey Dr. Keenan, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thanks so much for coming online today. So tell the, us a little bit about you and how things have been going in Bermuda during lockdown. So I, my name is Leah and I live as everyone knows in the island of Bermuda. I am the CEO and founder of a women's leadership and leadership personal and professional development company. And so I spend a lot of time working with new women leaders and also coaching folks on how to build their uh, professional network. And when I'm not doing that, I am a wife and a mom and that's kind and a wannabe singer, let's put it that way. So those are some of the things that I do um, in, in my spare time. <laughs> and an author as well, right? That was my Christmas present was your book. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and an author. So I recently released the book, Assemble the Tribe, and that's been um, just a wonderful life-changing experience to share that message of how our relationships can um, really help us be healthy. And that's why I was so excited to talk with you, Leah. So I know you're going to have some great insight on, you know, what's kind of happening right now and then how people can feel a little bit better during this time of lockdown. Yeah, so I think COVID is a particularly challenging time for um, everyone. And, you know, uh, there's kind of three reasons why I think this whole idea of tribe is so important right now more than ever. And I know I don't need to tell you this because you probably follow all of the science, but based on the research that I did for my book, people who are isolated and lonely, um, they are more susceptible to different types of diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure, even certain types of cancers. And so that according to all the research that I did um, in my book. And so I think that combined with just the impact that COVID is having on us and really pulling us apart, I, I think if there was ever a time for us to focus on our relationships, that time is now. I think the second reason why this whole idea of tribe is so important right now is that, you know, in my research, I looked at the stories of women and many, many women have experienced rejection often at a young age. And so again, when we're talking about quality relationships and the impact of rejection, um, that is another reason why we should be thinking about our tribes. And then last but not least for, you know, the, the women who watch our show, I think COVID has really impacted us disproportionately relative to our male counterparts. I often say it's not, the impact is not, you know, women are not better, but it is different. You know, we're the ones that are having to, you know, carry a large part of the childcare duties and make different decisions. And there's a global impact um, for women worldwide. So I think if there was ever a time for us to think about our relationships and why they're important. This whole idea of tribe, I think is well positioned for, for right now for us to have that conversation. Well, it's so insightful, um, Leah, you know, from relationships to rejection and then kind of that greater impact of feminine energy and how feminine energy is, we're taking so much on, you know, at this moment. So how do you feel people can get together because this is what we need right we need this collective and when we're in our own little houses then what's a great way to build kind of networks and the tribe yeah so there's a couple of things that i do and you know i i do understand and appreciate that everybody is kind of fully zoomed out after a long day the last thing you want to do is jump on a zoom call however if you are stuck inside i would just say can you really afford not to connect socially, even though you're a little tired? So I've made an effort to carve out some specific times where I can connect with my girlfriend. So for example, I was on the line with one group two weeks ago for about four hours. I mean, we were just having a good chat because we would typically have gotten together in person. But since we can't do that, we still carved out the time. And, you know, sometimes we get overwhelmed with this idea of time. In fact, it's actually the number one reason that women cite for not being able to connect and build their tribe. And so I try to encourage everyone, don't think about like all of the hours. I mean, in the course of a month, I spent four hours 
And boy, was it worth it. It helps to cement friendships. It gives people opportunities to really stress. Um, you know, it gives you an opportunity to laugh. So say, if I can't, you know, if I, if I just can't handle any more Zoom, is there a specific time that I'm willing to carve out and dedicate to building those relationships? Another thing that I would um, suggest is, you know, I have a friend who lives in Washington um, State and we just committed to getting together for one hour every other week. And we've done that consistently for a year. And I can tell you our relationship has completely transformed in that time because we've gotten to share our COVID journey. We've talked about our businesses. We've talked about other aspects of our family life that is important. And so what I personally have done is just been intentional about carving out not huge amounts of time, but moments I call them my, my tribe moments so that I can continue to build those relationships. I can get the support that I need. And, you know, whether we're inside or outside, that's really important for us to live our healthiest and happiest lives. Well, it's, it's wonderful, Leah. You know, when you talk about tribe and connection, it's so true. You know, it's, it's one of the greatest things I believe too that we can do for our health. It's been shown again and again. And I think personally, you know, I've been doing the same. I have a group I've been connecting with now for the past like five months, once a week. And it's like my motivation, my inspiration. Um, and I know that, you know, having read your book as well, like you give so many other helpful tips about women to kind of create their own tribes. So if people want a little to learn a little bit more about you and your work, how can they follow you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I would love for everyone to connect with me. So there are two places that you can, I'm on, I'm on social, all social media, but there's two places primarily I would recommend. You can follow me on Instagram or connect with me on LinkedIn. My handles are all the same at Leah J M Dean. And if you're interested in the book, Assemble the Tribe, I'd love to share that with you. You can head on over to the book page, which is www.assemblethetribe.com. You can download the first two chapters for free. And I also have a free tribe health assessment if you want to start to think about your relationships. And what I usually tell people is as you're taking the survey, just think about the questions and how they resonate for you personally, because I often find they trigger some things for people in terms of steps they can take to improve or invest in their relationships. So all of that's there for you for free um, if you'd like to take advantage of it. It's so wonderful, Leah, because healthy relationships is part of this whole healthy life that we want to foster and the community that we live in. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get the chance to meet in person someday very soon. So thanks very much, uh, Leah Dean from Bermuda, for your time. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Absolutely. You too. It was great to talk to you today. You too. Bye for now.